Good morning. Thanks for joining us for Local 3 News. I'm Rebecca Bartholomew, and joining me this morning is Kevin Storr, the Executive Director of the Portage Health Foundation. Thank you for coming in. Yep. Good morning. Thanks for having me today. Uh, of course. And so for people who don't know what the Portage Health Foundation is, what is it? We are a community foundation that was uh, derived from the sale of the Portage Hospital in 2013. Um, at that time, we reincorporated the, the hospital foundation as a community charitable foundation and have been working ever since to reinvest some of those monies back into our local community, um, a community that serves Berga, Houghton, Keweenaw, Ontonagon County. So in short, it's a charitable foundation that reinvests to make our community a better community. Very cool. And so um, it was just Giving Tuesday a couple weeks ago. And what does that mean for you guys? You know, we've long said that we don't want to be a foundation that's competing with the rest of the nonprofits in our community for their funding. And, uh, you know, recognizing that we also need to, to raise monies. We also want to raise money and raise awareness to the organizations that exist in our community that do good in our community. So a few years ago, uh, one of our staff members had the idea to use the Give Tuesday event to help advocate for and, and showcase those organizations in our community that are doing so, so many good things. And we wanted to use that as an opportunity to raise money for them and leverage the foundation's resources to help do that. So uh, this was our third year in essentially advocating and sharing the stories of our community partners and raising monies for them as part of that Give Tuesday event. Very cool. And so we'll talk a little bit more about Nexstar about what you guys do, but thank you for joining us this morning. Right. Thank you. Yeah, and for more information, you can check out our website, upmatters.com, and tune to Local 3 News tonight at 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock Central for more local news, weather, and sports.